Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put a quick video together, just sharing the fix for a fall on this 2020 Ford Ranger. Basically, this shoe that we've got, you can just see we've got the spanner warning light on there. It just says check 4x4 when it comes up. Obviously, we've just got the ignition on at the minute. But it's the same when it's running as well. Just get rid of the tire presser message there. You can see check 4x4. And basically, the fault code that we've got in it, just put it back with the ignition on again. We've just done a full scan with the top down diagnostic machine. We have got one more code in here, but the main one that we're looking at, we've got this P1871, which relates to mechanical transfer case, switch circuit, shorter battery. Now it's actually turned out to be quite a simple fix, but I just thought I'd put the video on there just to show you what it is, uh, what I found the fault to be, that's all. Basically all it's turned out to be, just this little switch there. Now when this come in, the switch wasn't in this position, I've actually pulled it out, but it was clipped in. But when I actually pulled it out to have a look and test it, the actual bottom piece of it had actually pulled into two pieces and the actual switch is broken. You can just see this section of it, the clip's all broken off there. So someone's obviously had this one apart before um, and damaged it and it's not gone back together right. So I've got a new one. I'll put a link in the description below to the, for the part number for a new one and where you can get it from. Um, but you can take it apart and just check it and at this stage now if i just simply just actually clip that together all i've got to do if we just you can just see the light's gone off already if we just turn it off strike it up we're all good to go now and the message is gone and once i've done that you can then it will allow you to clear the fault code as well but yeah i just thought i'd put the video together um just to show in case anyone's got that fault code and you're wondering what it is it's well worth just checking that quick first so yeah, i'm just going to get that swapped over now clear the fault code and job's good one.